I'm diamond head, get it? <laughs> Extra diamond in my head. <laughs> well, in case you couldn't hear me, hey guys, what's up? Lydia XC2000 here, back with another Ben 10 toy review, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Ben 10 or even diamond head in here. Oh, precious. This video was requested by none other than Ultimate Jet Buyer in 1992. Dude! You lost a lot of videos. Also, if you guys haven't seen it already, I did an unboxing and review with a new brand new Heat Blast figure. Woo! If you guys want to go check out the video, the link will be in the description below, or you can click the eye at the top right hand corner. Oh! I, 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 as you guys can see, we have our figure nicely packaged inside of this awesome Ben 10 packaging. We have a picture of Diamond Head as well as his name at the bottom of the. <laughs> diamond head figure. Isn't it great? Oh my god. Wow. This is one awesome figure. Diamond head actually comes with his very own accessory. How cool is that? The Ben 10 original series figure didn't come with any accessories at all. So the way that you put this diamond tip on is very simple. You just take his hand and you just put the diamond tip on his hand like so just like a glove and what's really cool about this is that it not only fits on one hand but it can also fit on the other as well and you can even turn it like 360 degrees it will fit on like just about every angle and it's very sturdy too it has like a firm grip to it it won't fall off unless you kind of like hit it on a flat surface or something then it will eventually come off. What's really cool about this accessory is that not only can you use it for diamond head but if you want you can even put it on your little finger like so and you kind of have like a really cool crystal fingernail. <laughs> So here is the basic reboot Diamond Head figure stacked up with other versions of Diamond Head that we've seen released so far. On the very left we have the power-up version of Diamond Head released by Playmates Toys. It's pretty much the same figure overall except the power-up figure is just slightly taller and of course the Omnitrix symbol is translucent with that figure. Other than that it's pretty much the same. And compared to the Diamond Head figures that we've seen released by Bandai, the new Diamond Head figure is just slightly taller, about half an inch or so taller than the other figures. And of course these guys are different because they're done in different art styles. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much explaining to do. You guys can kind of tell how different these guys are. Diamond Head's legs can rotate 360 degrees. His knee can rotate 360 degrees. He can also bend up the knee, straighten out forward. His leg can go forwards as well as backwards. His waist can rotate 360 degrees. Diamond Head's arm can rotate 360 degrees. His arm can also go up and down. His elbow can rotate 360. You can also bend it at the elbow and bend it backwards. And of course his hand can rotate 360 degrees as well. And Diamond Head's head can rotate 360 degrees as well. So here's a little 360 look around the Diamond Head figure, and this thing is awesome, guys. Look at all the translucent plastic. You know, Diamond Head being made out of diamonds, it really suits this character well, because it, it kind of makes him look like he's made out of actual crystals or diamonds being in that translucent plastic. Not to mention the turquoise blue color I'm a big fan of, because my favorite color, for those of you guys that don't know it, is blue. And my second favorite color is actually green, so that's kind of cool, because this is like a mix of both colors and it just works very well for the character himself. And of course you have a really cool accessory that comes with him and of all the articulation with the figure. And it's only $10 and you get all this articulation and you got that really cool accessory and it's just a high quality made figure. For the price it's just, it blows my mind that you can get something of this quality for only 10 bucks. And not to mention, it's 
better than the Bandai Diamond Head figure in terms of plastic. I like the translucent plastic of this guy more than I do with the solid paint color for the Bandai figure. So that's basically it, that's Diamond Head. He's a really great figure and I would highly recommend this to anyone and everyone who's a big fan of Ben 10. If you've been a fan of Ben 10 for years or you recently just got into the series and you wanna start your Ben 10 collection, this is definitely the figure to get and is a must have for any Ben 10 fans collection. If you guys wanna go buy this figure for yourselves, I'll be leaving a link in the description below to the Toys R Us link so you guys can go purchase Diamond Head before he sells out because all the other figures so far are selling out really fast. So get him while you can guys. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. And most importantly, have a great day.